to the channel. If you're new to the channel, make sure you smash that subscribe button for weekly automotive and family content. Today, we are gonna be reviewing. The company sent me this OBD2 and OEBD code reader, and it also clears codes. So they sent me this to review, getting check engine lights on the police cars. So I'm gonna donate this to the department because as, because as you guys know, I have Easy Link and I clear codes right from my phone. Uh, for my truck. We're gonna we're gonna do a little review and test this thing out now because one of our cars has a check engine light So we're gonna see what's going on with that car But the company name is Ansel and this unit is AD 410 We're gonna open this package up See what it comes with So you got your scanner Diagnostic tool. This is definitely for like the consumer. This isn't like a snap-on or a Maco tool. We're reading codes and clearing them. So it gives you an idea at home if you're throwing a check engine light so you don't have to go to the shop. You can actually see what's going on. And then if it's something simple, you can go to the store, get a new sensor and replace it yourself. If it's something more serious, at least you know what you're working with and you can take it to the shop and say, hey, I ran it. This is the code it's throwing. Can you guys look into it? Comes with this nice USB cable, probably for updates or maybe some data logging. So you can load it into your computer and save it. So this just plugs into your OBD2 port in your car. This car was throwing a code, but it is no longer anymore. According to my corporal. Okay, so we're connected. It's not touch screen. <laughs> it's entering system. We're gonna go to read codes. All right, so there's our code. That's what's throwing the check engine light. It's P0430, which is the Calic system. Efficiency below threshold bank two. So, I'm gonna go back. We can see if there's any pending codes. There's no pending long-term codes or permanent codes rather. So let's go in there. We're gonna head. We're gonna erase that code. Yes. Turn the ignition on. Ignition's already to on. And we cleared it. Simple as that, guys. Simple as that. We're gonna exit out. This is perfect for your consumer, like you're at your house, you wanna check your car real quick. We're gonna be using this a lot here at the department. So I wanna thank Ansel for sending this to me and uh, we'll be getting some good use out of this. So now I know what's wrong with this, I'm gonna contact the Ford dealership and say, hey, this is the code that it's throwing and they can order whatever parts they need. We have the extended warranties on our cars and that way there's no delay. I don't have to run to the dealership and have them scan it and sometimes they only have two technicians working and you have to wait for them. I already got the code for them, did all the work for them. All I gotta do is order the part and we're good to go. So check that out. All the information will be in the description below. Right, fast forward to days later. So what we have here guys is our Mishimoto intercooler and our Mishimoto intercooler piping. So I'm gonna send out the passenger side. Nope, not the passenger side. I'm gonna send out the driver's side boost tube to get powder coated reducer for your intake um i'm getting a new one of these which should be here any day because we need it because the bank's monster ram is a four inch um, intake horn and we're reducing that down to a three inch because these are this is three inch here so and then you, you got the rest of the silicone boots here for the kit but we're only using out of this kit we're only using the driver's side charge tube. And I can't wait to get that four inch Monster Ram intake in. It's lacking. The engine is, what are you doing? You're leaning forward. She's leaning forward. Oh, I didn't know I was in. I was oh, trying yeah. not to be, I'm I just trying, to I'm, say, I'm trying to get you yeah. Be safe, love you. I'm gonna go make dinner so we can go to the concert. You gotta check out their warranty. Their warranty, man, they, <laughs> Well, trust me, if you have an issue, they take care of you. I, a lot of people, a lot of subscribers that comment on my stuff, they tell me about it all the time how happy they are with their warranty. If there's an issue, they take care of you. So this is gonna be going in soon at 30 Diesels in conjunction with 
the new Mishimoto Radiator as well. Who's coming to visit us? Hey, Maze. Come here. Hey, Maze. What are you I'm doing? What are you doing? Oh, you back? There's you back to normal? Right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, her eyes were all swollen this morning, but she's wow. she's happy now. She's she's back to normal. Okay. Shaking her little nub. Shake that nub. Yeah. <laughs> you pumped? Excited. You got your recital tonight? Yeah. And you're singing? Yeah. You pumped? I am pumped. I'm sort of pumped because I saw it this morning anyways. And yeah, but we have so many more songs than yeah, what you saw. It's going to be a review. It's going to be a review? a review? Or did yes. you have your review earlier? Yes. In All right. the morning. <laughs> we didn't play all of our songs though. Okay. Okay. All, all right. So it's sort of like a review. In true Smitty fashion and Hetty fashion, we are early, way early, to Kendall's recital slash Christmas concert. I know there's not a lot of automotive content in this video. Bear with us. We're just extremely busy during the holidays. Extremely busy non-stop between work. Uh, the past two weeks, I'm working six days in a row. And with all the family activities and what have you and kid activities it's just uh it's been it's been non-stop we have been filming the elf smitty hans and some of you have requested to see smitty hans so while we're waiting for the concert why don't you guys enjoy some of smitty hans activities what do you say yeah a goofy little elf <laughs> <laughs> oh there you are very good he, that, I he wanted was, to be seen by the camera. Don't tell them yet, Kylie. They gotta watch for themselves. They gotta watch. Dang it! <laughs> but she does say on there what her favorite thing is. Oh, she does. Cause, well, because uh, I missed that one day. Yeah, my All right, guys. So I'm in a much better mood today. So day two of the Elf shenanigans. Oh my goodness! So we got a little. We got a little baby shark action going on. Smitty shark do 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 Smitty shark do 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 do. Maisy, what did that elf do? You guys, I totally know what you're thinking. Steve is so lucky to wake up next to this every day. You're right. All right, guys, day three of elf shenanigans. What do you do? Well, you know, look like he turned himself into the Grinch. Ooh, he has a little stink, stank, stunk spray up in his bathroom. Oh my goodness. Elf, Smee Hans, you crazy. That's totally for Steve. He'll try and tell you otherwise. Don't listen to him. Good morning, day four. What are you doing? Alright guys, day five. Let's go see what that I almost said squirrel. Oh my gosh. Let's go see what that elf did. Oh, I always get caught in this lunch out. Let me make sure I packed everything. What is this? has a girlfriend? Yeah. Named Gabby? Yeah. And this morning he wrapped up my lunch. Alright guys, day six. What did this help do? Let me show you. Smitty Hans. Not on the kitchen counter. What do you think? That elf, he's bad, huh? Yeah. Hey, Psst. Do you want one of the elf's peas? Sit. Hey. Sit. 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 Oh, you 
food listening so well. Watch if I put a pee in my hand though. Sit. Good girl. It's so early. One second. Hmm. Okay. Day seven. Today's shenanigans. Let's go take a look. Wouldn't that be something if I ruined it at 3.25 in the morning? Go ahead, sweetie. Sweetie, baby, sweetie. Day eight, you guys. When it's so cold and you just want something warm, you may go digging in your soon-to-be 12-year-old's closet. I ain't even mad about it. I'm not even really a cat person. I'm allergic to cats. But this is warm AF. So yeah, I'm going to school work as a 39 year old woman rocking this cat shirt. So last night Smitty Hans, um, apparently he found a note that Kylie had crinkled up and threw away, except for she didn't throw it away. It was laying on the floor by the trash can. So, you know, oh, throw it away. Make sure it makes it in the trash can. Story for another time. So our, uh, our honey badger of an elf, this is what he did. So he found this note, do not touch the Kirst mystery. So much for that uh, Catholic school tuition there. Maybe we learned that in third grade. And this honey badger, he's a bad, bad elf. Hey Kendall, you did really good. I'm proud of you. So, <laughs> I was gonna end the video after Kendall's recital, but I felt compelled after just seeing what I observed and I feel so bad for you Duramax owners. 2020 Duramax, I, what was GM thinking when they designed that? I mean, you know, the, the fifth gen Ram, the heavy duty, I just saw that too and uh, it, it's pretty consistent with the 1500s, the fit gen 1500s. And you know what, that, that's, that body style is starting to grow on me. Uh, the bumpers, not, uh, and the badging, the badging is a little bit bigger, but the HD Chevy, I mean, that thing is just, oof. I think, I don't know what they were thinking with the front end of that truck. It is, it's horrible. <laughs> it's just plain out horrible. I, I feel bad for you. You Duramax guys, I really do. I don't know what they were thinking with that bar going across the whole front of the truck that says Chevy. I don't know, it's, I don't know what they were thinking. That's, that's crazy. So I'm not feeling that bad about the new heavy duty Ram body style. Uh, I think Ford actually right now, I almost hate to say this. I really, this is, this. I struggle with this, Heather, don't I? I struggle with this. I hate to say this, but I think Ford has the best looking truck right now. I hate to say it, I, it, it makes me ill, but now nah, I don't, you know what, I, I'm a fan of all trucks, 
but I would never, ever buy that new Duramax. Just my opinion, maybe some of you guys like it. Maybe some of the Duramax guys will like it. I have a feeling it's not gonna be that well received. I really don't. All right, guys, if you liked this video, please be sure to give us a thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, you know the deal, give us a thumbs up anyway. First time stopping by, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Make sure you check it out, Ram Beast Apparel and Beast Synthetics. Yes, and uh, rambeastprojects.com. All right, All right guys. guys, we love you. We'll see you on the next upload. Peace. Peace. Oh. Your friends? Your friends? Oh. Hi, Clarice. Hi, Rudolph. I like came out and she's like just standing there staring at them. You're so cute.